All right, guys, it's Lazlan back with another art video. So today, what the plan is, oops, <laughs> Valheim. Um, so we're gonna go out. We got our bolas on us. We got our spyglass. We got some tranks. Let's grab a little bit of. We don't need that much. A little bit of meat. We got meat on us. All right, so we are going to take the parasaur out looking for a pteranodon so i want to tame my first flyer so that we can start pushing inland and get into the uh, metal mountain and the volcano and all that and it's it's a heck of a lot easier if you have a flyer to do so plus i want to go gather some more crystal we're always going to be in need of crystal i'd like to get some um obsidian to make some scissors so that we can give ourselves a haircut and then yeah we got a metal is going to be a big item for us here so we got to get into a spot where we can get a ton of metal oh it looks like we got our first contestant oh wrong button don't want to shoot him what do we got that's a parasaur where did he go there he is level 10 don't want that what are you you're level 10 as well Okay, so I'm just going to head across the water here, and I'm going to follow the beach along the... Or I'm going to follow up along the beach towards the swamp, scoping for decent parasaurs. If we don't find anything, we'll come back, and I will uh, bring you guys back every time we... Before we spyglass one to see if it's any good. So that you can, uh, instead of having to watch me run through, at least you're with me for the journey. So let's just make sure before I cut away that this one that one's level 40 and that one's level 20 there's nothing else there okay so we'll bring you back next time we see a pteranodon and see what we can find okay we got one up the beach here level 45 got a couple sharks 85 and what's the other one looks like actually we got a spino in the water over there we don't want to play with him. He's a level 90. What's he fighting over there? A trike. Did we check this one? That was the level 45. Hmm. Well, we definitely don't want to play with the Spino. What level was that Spino? level 90 yeah he'll he'll lay a pretty good beaten down on us okay let's head back this way and see what we can find okay so we got another one over here i think we've already spotted him that's a 20 but there was something i wanted to show you guys so let's jump off so this is a beaver dam inside of it is wood cementing paste and mushrooms what you gotta always do is take everything and then it'll destroy the beaver dam and it'll re respawn if you don't take everything the beaver dam will stay there and it'll never respawn and then the next person that goes into it won't get anything from that beaver dam except whatever you left inside so if you don't want the wood or the cementing paste well you'd always want the cementing paste but if you don't want the wood you just throw it on the ground so that the so it despawns and as you've seen, these, uh, the beavers are not happy if you touch their house. So they'll attack you, so be ready for a fight. It's always a good idea to see what level beavers are around. But they do give pelt, which you need for heading into the north. But So yeah, we got 250. We found a... Uh, a... Uh, uh, supply drop and picked up some stuff from that that's where that extra crap from come from but we're going to continue through the night and i will bring you guys back if we see something so we're not that far from our base we have another 40 here I seen something flapping up here, level 15. 
I might have to start killing these things so that we're not uh, so that they respawn. But we're gonna head inland here and grab this green drop that just came down. See if we can't find something good. Might as well keep you with me while we do that. It's not that far off. That parasaur is running from something. And he just yelled. So whatever he's chasing him is running as well. So we got to be careful because we could get jumped by Truidons up here. Which will they'll knock us out and cause us. Uh, and then they'll just eat us while we're sleeping. There's nothing we can do about it. They'll destroy all our gear and chew us up. So this white outline that's on everything is the super spy gas or awesome spy glass really large structure sure glad we came into a dangerous area for that the drops early level early game are pretty pretty crappy okay we're gonna continue on Oh, here we go. That's what we're looking for right there. So we're going to quickly bola him. Couple shots to the head with the trank. Nope. meat that's what we want let's level that one male so now we got to find a female so it looks pretty good here let's do we have we have narcotics in us let's uh, pack this guy full of narcotics we're gonna head down the beach here see if we can't get a female for our male what do we got here level 10 something spooked them sent everything flying oh, it's a diplo sorry about how bright it is I gotta have the gamma up so that you guys can see so yeah you can see we're just about at the red obelisk here oh Really? Gross. So yeah, just loaded the route obelisk. This is a pretty good area for for pteranodons. As you see in that 120 was a good one. There was lots before it that weren't. Um So I don't think seeing much of anything else let's uh, head back to where we've got that one knocked out finish taming it and then we'll uh, run back to the base what's this goodie worth we'll wait till this come down nah there's nothing in there that we want. so yeah we'll uh, run back to the base get a saddle on it and then we'll fly that pteranodon around looking for um, for a female so that we can breed unless we get lucky in that one no that's the 10 male we, we should do is go get that yellow drop looks like it's just in the woods on the other side so let's head down there terror bird saddle and a calico saddle cool I don't know if we're going to use the calico saddle. I don't think I've ever actually tamed a, a terror bird other than back when you needed its kibble. But yeah, maybe we'll run into something half decent. It can be our new land mount. Looks like we got raptors up here. Let's poke our heads up here and see if we can't see a female pteranodon somewhere. Or maybe one of those raptors are really good. Level 15 and level 50. Nope. 
Apple. There we go. Our Pteranodon is tamed. So let's take the stuff out of your inventory. I'm going to oops, set behavior on passive. I'm going to do follow distance high. Let's take take him and head on home. So I won't make you sit through another um, speed up. We'll uh, I'll bring you back when we get home, or if we run into something exciting or fun. Okay, so we're back to the base, all safe and sound. Let's get a saddle made. My Pteranodon saddle. So I believe we can do that right in our inventory. Let's pull one of those. Okay, what is our stats? The weight is really low. Stamina is low as usual. So we gotta ditch some stuff before we take this boy out for a ride. Let's keep some of that on us. Ditch that. We'll keep a little bit more meat. Never know what you might find out in the out in the wilderness. Let's ditch this stuff in the box. Oh, we got oh we're good there. Uh, drop that off, drop that off. Pearls. Did we make any more bullets? We haven't. Okay. Can we fly? So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to up our stamina. And remember we had that um, explorer note down the beach here? That's the first thing we're going to do is grab that. Let's get rid of that HUD so you guys don't see that. We'll grab this explorer and load and then we'll do some flying around. Oh, we grabbed that one. Where was the other one? Um, was it over here? Oh, I don't think it was that far over. Did we already use it? There it is. So we'll grab this one. There we go, some XP. Well, let's go find some dodos to kill. I want to get... So the stamina is really bad on pteranodons. So we're going to pump a bunch into stamina. And then a bunch into weight. So that we can actually go up to the metal mountain and grab some some more crystal and then fly back we won't be able to grab huge amounts of metal but we will uh we will be able to use this to tame oh look at it already i'm out of stamina the plan is is we will use this to tame a argentavis which i don't know if it'll be in the next episode or maybe the episode after that but we'll go up to the volcano and set up a set up a trap and tame ourselves an RG, which they're a lot slower than the Pteranodon, but they can carry a ton of weight. So that'll be, that'll be what we use to move our base. Oh. Move our base and also when we want to do uh, metal runs, we'll take the RG. Like I said, they're a lot slower, but they, they, uh, they carry a ton, so. I did spot something. I don't know if you guys noticed it when we were running around. Looks like every every river inland has a sarco hanging out. Or not a sarco, a, a spino. Where did he go? Oh, we gotta keep an eye on our stamina. Let's land up here. Oh, we got a metal parasaur down there. We're gonna have to tame those for the 
the electronics, but let's go down there and kill that one. That spin maneuver, that's the C attack. So it takes a lot of stamina, but it actually increases your speed and it attacks. Um, it can pick up small creatures. Humans, uh, I don't know what the biggest, maybe a raptor, stuff like that, with its right click. And then its left click is it's just its regular bite attack. Like I said, we're going to be doing lots of, lots of resting to get Stam. You notice that uh, we killed that Parasaur, we got Scrap Metal, which is one for one, where regular metal gives you two, two metal per ingot. And then we got some electronics, some oil, and some element dust. There's some more crystal here that we left behind last time. Okay, lad. I'm not really scared with the the Fiomias hanging around. If they were if they were um, running, I'd be more worried. So we're gonna grab a little bit more metal, and then so we're gonna leave this one, this explorer note for our um, next flyer. Let's head inland a little. It. So this is the swamp here. This gets dangerous. But you can see below us, you see a sarco swimming in the water there. See right below us there's a, a beaver dam. This is actually a good spot here. Oh, there's that that spino. This is a good spot to uh, to gather um, cementing paste. Because there's normally two or three beaver dams in this area. Or these Akatinas. The snails, they'll give you uh, Akatina paste, which is the exact same as cementing paste. Okay, I'm going to try to do my best not to get uh, pounced off my Pteranodon. <clears throat> when you're flying through the Redwoods, you always want to keep your eyes out for... Um, tree cats. If I spot one, I'll show you thylacolias hang out up in the trees. And if you fly by or ride by on a ground mount, they will leap out and rip you off your mount. And with the gear that we have right now, if something, if one of them does that, we're, we're dead. And since this is our only flyer, we're highly unlikely to be able to make it back to get, to get our body and our gear. So this is what a lot of people call Metal Mountain. You got to be be careful. There's um, a lot of the big carnivores spawn up here. The Allosaurus, the the um, the Rexes, Carnos, Raptors, that kind of thing. But this place has a ton of metal on it, and as you see, a ton of crystal. And it's also got see that little guy down there. He's another one. Oh, no, that's an Archaeopteryx. Never mind. I thought that was a, a micro raptor. Okay, you're not on follow. So we're just going to gather a little bit more. Oh, egg spike there. Get a bunch more crystal. See if we can't find another explorer note. And then we will take our unnamed Pteranodon back to base. Yeah, if you guys have a name for the Pteranodon, let me know. Pick something out of the comments. Okay, so our base is that way. Oh, see, those, that's an Argentavis right there. Level 30. Oh, there's another one on the ground. What level are you? Level 20. And that one walking around, level 35. Some Kentros, some more Argies. I've never really had good luck finding half decent Argies um, at the Metal Mountain. Oh, we're we're over encumbered. Uh, that's we got a bunch of that on us. That'll do there. 
Yeah, so Metal Mountain, I've never found really good Argies. It's normally up on the level 20, level 50. Normally find them up on the, the volcano. Oh, there's some. Just spotted those guys. There's a couple Allosauruses. Yeah, you're going to find that if you play on other servers like uh, Ragnarok or even Scorched Earth, that the dinosaurs have a lot higher level, it seems, when they spawn. It seems like the island is a, a lot less, and it's harder to find good levels. But when you're not finding high levels, that means you're not fighting high levels. So it's it's a good spot to, to start and get your bearings and learn how to play the game. So we're going to head straight this way and land right on that tip. We should have enough stamina for that. Let's check our map. Yeah, and then we'll head directly south from there. Yeah, Redwoods, really dangerous. Swamp, really dangerous. The, um, the Black Sands, which is between... So it's at... Where 50-40 is kind of the Black Sands area. That's that's a good spot for taming carnivores, um, big herbivores like trikes and stegos and uh, stuff like that. Just down the beach from that area, you get a lot of uh, um, wreck spawns. So that's we're going to set up a base close to that so that we can tame all those big boys and get ready for boss fights. Oh, we got a... What level is that? Level 5 alpha, alpha Raptor. I don't know if I can take him. I lost him. Let's check out what his health is. Yeah. No. Just about 4,000 health. We will leave him alone for another day. So yeah, there's tech variants of a lot of creatures. So there's another, there's a tech stego there to my right. And then there's the tech raptor, the tech parasaur. Um, there's a tech trike, but I think those are only, um, only Genesis. And you can't transfer them off. But each of those drop... They all drop uh, electronics and oil, like that tech parasaur that we killed. And what you can do is you can tame them. You can tame them, breed them, and then when they're adults, you can kill off the babies and harvest them for, uh, for the same resources that the wild dinosaurs get. So if you're on a modded server with high rates, you can build yourself... A, uh, a tech farming area so the babies drop down and then you have a something on aggressive underneath it and it'll kill it harvest it and then you'll have lots of lots of those resources so you don't have to go out and look for them but we're not going to go into that i don't think on this server maybe when we get to yeah no we're not going to bother with that We don't plan on staying too many episodes on the island. And that's only something you would do if you plan on being long-term. All right. So here we are. Back home again. Safe and sound. Got our Pteranodon all tamed up. Got him, got him leveled up. Now we just need a name for him. And look what I spotted earlier just outside our base. So if he comes down to the ground, I think I'm going to probably knock it out and tame it um, in the off time so that we're not uh, so scared of just losing our only flyer. And then, yeah, I think in the next episode what we're going to do is we're going to spend some time up in the, the volcano. We'll build a trap. We'll tame some Argentavises. Uh, hopefully we can get a couple high levels, a male and a female, so that we can do some breeding. But yeah, guys, thanks. Uh, that's that'll be it for the episode today. Um, Pteranodon tamed level. It was good. So next episode, yeah, it's, like I said, we'll we will uh, head up into the mountains, or maybe we'll poke our head into the water over here and get that 
uh, Basilos before it runs off. But So, as always, if you guys enjoyed the content, please come back again next time, and thanks a lot, guys.